वेलकम टू टेक प्राइमर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज सीरियलाइजेशन एंड व्हाई डू वी नीड टू केयर अबाउट सीरियलाइजेशन एंड व्हेन वी शुड बी यूजिंग सीरियलाइजेशन सीरियलाइजेशन इज यूजफुल व्हेन वी नीड टू रीक्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट्स इनटू इट्स ओरिजिनल स्टेट in a different jvm serialization converts these objects into stream of bytes so that they can be easily shipped from one jvm to another serialization saves the state of the object for recreation of these objects without having to reprocess them in a different jvm or even in a different platform let's consider a jvm and the jvm has an object which has a value 10 and this is running inside a machine 1 let's consider that this jvm needs to be recreated inside machine 2 with the same object value as 10 so this is a typical example where we will be using serialization now how do we serialize objects so how does jvm does it so jvm creates a stream of bytes which the machine can understand which the network can understand and it will be shipped over the network that way it is shipped from machine 1 to machine 2 and the jvm recreates these objects from these bytes a typical example of serialization and deserialization would be a telephone talk between two entities where we talk over a cell phone and the data is transmitted through electrical or wireless signals and they gets deserialized at the destination end where the receiver is able to hear our own voice this is a very good example of serialization and deserialization now the next question arises who takes care of serializing my objects do i need to take care myself the jvm takes care of serializing once we implement the interface called serializable so whenever an object is implementing serializable interface jvm takes care of serializing that and deserializing it now if you recheck what we saw in the few slides ago serialization is useful for recreating objects into its original state now you know why because you need to recreate these objects with its original value into the new jvm serialization converts the objects to stream of bytes which can be shipped over the network finally these objects which are got saved can be recreated without any reprocessing in a different platform this could be unix windows or anything else I hope you understood what is serialization. In the next video we will create a hands-on video on how to serialize and deserialize objects and where it can be used. If you like the video go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.